just looking at Melvin Ingram, I know he's on the other side of the ball, but I'm, I'm curious when, when you were um, playing games against him, how you had to account for him and if you might be able to elaborate on what you think he's brought to you guys. Yeah, I mean, um, he's definitely a leader. I mean, he's, he's someone that uh, he's a vet. He understands how to play the game. Um, he knows how to play it the right way. And, uh, I mean, he's a mismatch out there. I mean, he's just as good in the run as he is uh, against the pass. Um, and so he can play every single down. He, get, he can go out there and play with his presence, uh, kind of bring everybody along. And uh, he's been a great uh, addition to the D-line room. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Patrick, um, I was wondering if there, there are things you know about playoff football now that you didn't know, say, before that um, – Tennessee game, a Tennessee playoff game, your rookie year, or even the Colts game the next year. And Brad, I'll have a second question as well. Yeah, I mean, I think the the first thing you kind of realize is that uh, at any moment, one one play can change uh, really the entire game. And I, I know it's like that in the regular season, but playoff it even playoffs it even goes to a different level. Um, uh, you you know that one play can change, uh, it can really end your season or keep it going. So uh, you try to limit your mistakes as much as possible, knowing that it's going to be a battle to the very end, uh, every single playoff game. Okay. I mean, do you have any stories, the things that happened and that you, how you learned these lessons? Yeah. I mean, I think uh, you look back at that Tennessee game that my first year, I mean, there was little plays here and there. I remember uh, the touchdown that Mariota threw where it hit, it got slapped down. He ended up catching for a touchdown. Um, the, the tackle by Derek Johnson early in the game that where it was a fumble and then it, and ended up uh, saying the forward progress was stopped. Um, those little plays changed the outcome of that game. And so uh, you know that those little things, uh, they, they matter. You have to make sure you really focus on the details, do what you can in order to, to find a way to win a game. Thanks to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Patrick, I know you guys are coming off a, a Denver game where you know you wish you were a little bit more consistent. You only had a limited Tyree kill on that game. Uh, it seemed from some of his dancing and the warm-ups today, he should be okay. What do you, what do you think you gain? What were you missing? What do you think you gained from having Tyree kill uh, potentially a, a full go on, on Sunday? Yeah. I mean, he's a special player. He makes the defense account for everybody. I mean, uh, the fact that they have his speed on the field, um, it makes defenses play different coverages. Uh, they, they know that they can't put him in man on man situations because of, of how talented he is. Um, but I thought guys stepped up. McCold played a great game. Um, other guys stepped up, made some big catches and some big moments. Um, and that's, that's the great thing about this team is whenever guys' numbers get called, they've stepped up and made plays happen. Let's go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Brad, I'll have a couple things. Um, Patrick, to follow up on what you said with Adam, I mean, just, just learning those things, the finer details and how quickly a game can change, does that affect the way you enter a playoff game at all? I mean, obviously, I assume you want to be yourself and what's gotten you here and what's been successful, but does it change anything? I think you said to be, bring a little bit different intensity. Um, Obviously, you go through the same process that you would do every single week of the entire season because um, you want to treat every single week like, I mean, it could be your, it could be your last. Um, but uh, you, go, you go through the week the same way, but when you get to that playoff game day, you have a little bit of uh, different intensity knowing that every play is critical. And it can really change, end your season by making a mistake. Um, but at the same time, you want to be loose, you want to have fun, and you want to enjoy it because, um, I mean, you don't, you don't know how many more of these games you're going to get in the playoffs, and I want to make sure I'm ready, uh, ready to enjoy all of them. And the second one, something I asked Andy, um, but you're seeing a team that you face in the regular season. You did that in 2019. You did that obviously in last year's Super Bowl. I realize you do that with division opponents. Um, but as far as your preparation, do you prepare to see a lot of what you've seen before? Or does your experience tell you to, to prepare to see a lot of different things than what you've seen before? I think, I mean, I think you have to prepare for both. Uh, I mean, obviously they're going to take away the stuff that they did, they did good against us. Um, and then they're going to try to change stuff that they didn't have as much success with. Um, so, I mean, uh, they, have a, they have a lot of good, really good coaches over there. They have a lot of really good players, um, and they've played in playoff games. They understand that how to change stuff up. They understand to go back to what they're great at. Um, and so we're expecting a, a battle. Um, and we're, we'll be ready to go, and we're going to try to find answers for everything because they're going to throw uh, all different pitches to us, um, and we have to be able to respond and have success uh, as much as possible. Let's go next to James Palmer. Go, James. Patrick, so much of how you play the game is that second play that defenses prepare for. But at the same time, when you have a pass rusher like like TJ Watt, it's almost like that second effort that maybe you have to prepare for, right? You might make a miss once, but you're not done with him. Is there a different approach with a guy that has kind of that relentless motor as a pass rusher when you're trying to buy time and make something happen? 
Yeah, I mean, he, he's a special player. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know what runs in that family, but, they, I mean, they're, they're great football players over there. And, uh, and you said it. I mean, TJ's not only special as far as the way he can bend and get to the quarterback, but the, what, the effort that he plays with. Um, and uh, they have a lot of guys like that over there, Cam Hayward, uh, Highsmith. I mean, they have a lot of guys that play hard the entire game. Um, and that they continuously play uh, and, and go and go. And so for me, it's about uh, whenever I do make those ex extended long plays, not making a bad play happen. I mean, those guys will be kind of around me the whole time as far as following the play. So don't when I when I kind of scramble up and I step up in the pocket when when stuff's not there, I have to make sure I account for them because I know they're not going to give up on the play. We've got three more starting with Darren. Go ahead, Darren Smith. Hey Patrick, uh, this is kind of this is kind of a twofold question, but look, uh, you played 17 games this year. Obviously, I think in your MVP year, you played 16 games. What have you been doing to keep yourself healthy, and obviously making sure that uh, when they had a the little outbreak, uh, that you you know kind of avoided that. But then, and then also, uh, because you're going up against Big Ben, this could potentially be his last year. You played 18 seasons. You know what would that mean for you to quote unquote end his career Saturday uh, Sunday night? Yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't even thought about it like that. I mean, um, I mean, he's a he's a an all time all time great quarterback that's going to be in the Hall of Fame one day. Um, but he's still playing great football right now. If you look at the big throws that he's made to keep their season alive, we know it's going to be a great challenge for us. Not not just him, but that entire team. Um, they they have an attitude about them. They have a mindset that they play with. So we're not taking them lightly at all. Um, I mean, they're they're a team that uh, that has beat a lot of really good football teams. Um, and so. Uh, uh, to get to play against Big Ben, it's an honor for me. I mean, he's a great football player. Um, and then as far as myself, uh, I mean, I've just been I've been doing whatever I can to try to stay healthy as I possibly can. Uh, that's learning from uh, stuff I did in the past, eating eating better, trying to get more sleep, which is harder when you have a little baby at home. Um, but doing whatever I can to kind of keep myself available for the team. And uh, we've done a good job so far, knock on wood, but uh, I'm trying to keep it up and uh, keep that thing rolling. Last two will go Joe and then Todd. Go ahead, Joe. Patrick, uh, you came into this season off a tough defeat, an injury. You're a new father. Did you approach this differently than you had in previous seasons? And I am going to have a follow-up, Brad. Yeah, so um, I, I didn't necessarily approach the season in a different way, but I've definitely learned different things as the season's gone on. Um, trying to find times where I can be at home and be with uh, Sterling and hanging out with her, um, but still at the same time getting in all the work that I have to do. So if that's getting to bed a little bit earlier, um, and getting up in the building a little bit earlier just so I can make sure that I, I'm getting all the work that I've usually done and still get to spend that time with her. I mean, it's just little stuff like that. I mean, uh, I, I still have the same mindset. I have the same process that I go through each and every week. Um, but uh, trying to find those little moments where I can spend a little bit more time with her is always something that I prioritize. And, you know, I'm a Kansas City native, grew up with the Chiefs. I understand uh, what the Chiefs and what you mean to that community. Has that made you change your behavior a little bit, or is there a pressure always there that you feel? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, for me, I've always been myself. Um, and that's why I think uh, I've gotten along with Kansas City so well, is they really enjoy just letting me be who I am, letting me uh, be a part of the, their community, such a home-type feel um, with, with great people. And that's why I, I've, I'm here for the long run. I mean, uh, to be in Kansas City with the, these people, uh, Chiefs Kingdom. Uh, I mean, I, I'm really, really excited to be here for a long time. We'll go last to Todd Palmer. Go ahead, Todd. Uh, hey, Patrick. You've talked a lot about execution or, or in various games, lack of it this season. Was the Pittsburgh game an example of some of the best execution you guys have had? Uh, and also, kind of along with that, when you had so much success in a game like that, do you, do you want to keep most elements of a game plan since it worked so well the first time around? Uh, I think with any game, it's kind of like when you play a division opponent, you keep a little bit of stuff here and there, but you have to come with a different a different game plan for sure. I mean, uh, uh, they're going to they're gonna go through and they're going to watch the game plan and try to take away that stuff that we had success with the first time. So uh, we'll definitely have some some elements of it there, but we'll have definitely stuff to go off of what we had the, the week before um, um, or the, the game before. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, we had a great game that, that day uh, where we executed at a very high level. Um, but um, this is a good defense. I mean, they're, they're going to come with, uh, with answers. They have great coaches that have coached for a long time and had a ton of success. Um, so we know it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a battle for us each and every play, and we'll come in with the mindset knowing that uh, if we don't play our best football, we won't, we'll be at home the next week. 